Hello guys, welcome to this new project video where you will get the practice question along with the data set. And as you can see, this data set or this case study or project is related to the GMAT, the Graduate Management Aptitude Test. Uh, it's related to that. And what we will going to do is based on the different scores that we have got, like for example, your GRE score, your TOEFL score and things like that, uh, we will going to do the prediction of admission whether if a student is getting a particular or some of these scores then will that student go or get a admission or not and uh, we will see how we can predict it and think about this you can create an application itself uh, for your group or for larger community where one can just go in and input their details and see what are their chances to get an admission after the in the GMAT. So let's go ahead and see this but before as you can see it over here uh, this is uh, based on or this data set is basically based on the uh, the Mohan Acharya, Asifa Arman and Anita Anthony based on their paper which is a comparison of regression model for prediction of graduate admission and it happened in IEEE International Conference on Computational Intelligence in, in Data Science in December 2019. So if you want to read the paper I just gave the reference over here. Uh, I recommend that you go and read about their paper and uh, we will see uh, what are the questions that I could frame uh, after looking at the data set after you know initially reading the their paper. So let's go ahead and see this. Well, and the next slide which I have is first is simple uh, you need to import uh, numpy pandas matplotlib and seaborn libraries and then uh, rest of the other libraries you can import as and when the need is arising for example when we will do some modeling okay so you need to know uh, as a beginner if you are a beginner then how you import these libraries and uh, the alias that you need to give then uh, you need to import the data set and uh, create an object which is admission. Now admission is something you can create but as I have just talked about the data set let me show you that data set so that you can get a good understanding of it. Alright so here is a data set uh, where you know different scores which has been given like uh, the GRE score, the TOEFL score, uh, the university ranking, the score in SOP, LORs, the CGPA score and this is a binomial whether uh, the person is involved in research or not so one is indicating yes, zero is indicating no and you can see when the person is indicating in research their chance of admit. So these are some of the uh, probabilities which has already been given and that's the variable that's the target variable uh, you know we have where we need to predict the chance of admit and these are you know several probabilities uh, between 0 and 1 that we need to predict. So, so these are the variables that you have as you can see it's a very straightforward data set and we will see what are the uh, data exploration and data manipulation features that we um, you know process that we can do to uh, predict the chance of admit. Alright let's go ahead and see this. Now once you have imported the data set and created an object admission you need to review the first five and last five rows. Now you need to know the, those functions uh, by which you can see the first five and last five rows. After that describe the data set so all those numerical variables have properties like uh, mean, median, mode, max, min. Um, quartiles like 50%, 25%, 75%, all of that information is very important for you to understand because it talks about whether there is any null data, null rows or uh, whether uh, there is a high difference between the median and the mean and uh, you know min and max, what are what is the range of the data, all of that thing you will see in this piece. So describing the data set is very very important then uh, you need to know uh, the functions 
which is sort of a nesting or extended function which i would say uh, where we can check if data set uh, is having any null value or not then uh, you need to remove the serial number column because it has no relevance and it is just there as part of the data set but we it is not required in the analysis okay let's move ahead uh, once you have removed that just see uh, just describe the data set again and this time if if any of the value is missing you need to know that parameter which will include all the variables and difference between uh, what happened when it when the parameter is not included to include all the variables against if you leave it empty or leave it as it is in the as we have done in the fifth point all right now uh, you can create uh, a histogram of the various variables like the gre score TOEFL score, university ranking, university rating, SOP, LOR, CGPA, chance of admin, uh, admin admission, I should say, and uh, write your observations about the shapes. What what sort of shapes they are? Are they normal distribution? Is it like left skewed, right skewed? It is like there is a uh, you know spike at the top or or it is like flat what what sort of observations that you are seeing are you seeing are there any extreme values in it or um, you know values which is like uh, on more on the lower end or on the higher end all of that information is available and uh, poss if possible create along with a histogram you know plot a kde plot and uh, that is something which is related to the seaborn library where you can plot both histogram and kde so you need to know what function you need to use. I've just given you the hint and that's why at the top I have asked you the Seaborn library and most of the chart which I have uh, or which I will tell you to create it in this case study, you will find it in this case study itself. All right, so now the check the relationship of chance of admit with GRE score, TOEFL score and CGPA. So this basically will tell you the the behavior of the GRE, TOEFL and CGPA with the chance of admit whether is it in a positive upward, downward or there is a different type of you know shape altogether. So what sort of relationship that you see uh, of chance, ad chance of admit with these three different scores and uh, this will be done with just one function you just need to know as I mentioned Seaborn library or you can view my previous videos related to the Seaborn libraries there I have covered uh, how you can create it effectively. Now last question is the create a correlation chart for all the numeric variable and write your interpretation. Again this is part of Seaborn library just to give you a hint about it. So this will uh, going to help you a lot when you will prepare this and uh, it will show you all this information uh, which will help you to build your model. Now, <clears throat> what are the average scores when the chance of admit is less than 0.5 and greater than 0.5? So to give you an idea what happens, uh, so 0.5 is generally considered as the decision boundary where you decide where if the value is above 0.5, that means there is a higher chance of getting an admission and if the value is 0.5 below the 0.5 then it is a lesser chance so i want you to basically divide or create a small script which can help you understand the difference in the average scores when the chance of admit is greater than 0.5 and less than 0.5 after that you need to create the x and y variable for linear regression problem solving in Y you will get uh, the chance of admit and in X you will get the rest of the other variables. Then import the standard scalar library and uh, scale the X data. This standard scalar will going to help in reducing the issue of uh, very high and very low uh, data points that you may be having in your data set or in this data set. And this will put every variable on a standard scale. So there is a standard scalar library uh, within Python that you need to know. 
um, and you need to import and uh, scale the X data point. That means the dependent data points. After that, you need to import the train test uh, split function, which is part from SQL Learn, and create a train and test variable with the 30% holdout data set as well as uh, make it reproducible. That means if uh, you want to you know, do it again or you want to test it again or somebody else has want to test it again, then it should give you the same output. All right. And uh, then initialize and fit the linear regression. Uh, it's a straightforward. You need to import the linear regression library and initialize and fit the linear regression. Then predict the values from the test data set. Again, very straightforward if you, if you have already done that. But if not, uh, it's a good practice to predict the value from the test data set that is, that is part of this 30% uh, holdout over here. Now, after that, you can plot the predicted and uh, actual values. So this will going to help you whether both are going in the same direction or how different they are from each other so you will get a visual perspective of that uh, create a histogram of residuals just to understand whether they are forming any sort of shape or uh, how how the shape is basically looks like uh, for the residuals ideally it should not um, have any sort of uh, picture or shape which is giving you some sort of uh, idea that uh, it's going in, in one single direction. Then uh, figure it out the R square value and uh, see what's your interpretation of it. Um, what is the intercept value and your interpretation? So there will be around five and six uh, different intercept. Uh, sorry, intercept will be one. But after that, the coefficient value will be some five and six. So you need to interpret both the uh, the intercept as well as coefficient value of uh, each variable what does it indicate and then uh, you need to create a small data set with columns and their respective coefficient value that means uh, what is the value of GRE score or COP score and things like that so just a small data set or small data frame uh, for the presentation perspective where you know you can put that in a presentation and write your interpretation in front of that that the model you have produced this is the contribution this is what it says and things like that so it's it's helpful so you need to know how you can create that and finally create a data set with the prediction target and the residual so that uh, you have one single data set where you have the predicted value target value residual value now this is the last question but uh, you may want uh, to further you know go ahead for example you want to predict for all the values or for example now this data this case study as you can see you can do it whether in R Python or anywhere else and basically see if you if you supply let's say you are a, a, you know an aspiring GMAT student and uh, you you want to see what values you are expecting based on your your own assessment then see how the values are you know uh, by supplying those values what the output is coming for your chance of getting the admission similarly think about if you are creating this application within the data visualization tools like uh, click sense click view pi uh, i'm sorry that tableau and all then what uh, application that you can create which can take all of these values as a parameters and you know create the output for you so a lot of creative things that can be done on this and if you are a web programmer then it's like endless possibilities where you can create an application for all the students make it like more interactive more useful for all the aspiring uh, GMAT student so but this is a short and sweet case study for the beginners as well as for any experience who wants to experienced person who wants to practice it more and uh, see the output how it is coming and uh, evaluate it and uh, reinforce the learning to solidify it all right so that's about it and i'll meet you in the next case study